So after leaving Utah, I came across uh, back into Wyoming and made it out just ahead of a fairly good storm that was coming through there uh, with high winds and some pretty good snow accumulation, I guess. Uh, they even actually had signs along the interstate warning of blowover risks because of the wind and also um, advising that it would be limited visibility and pretty slippery conditions. Um, if you've never driven out in the west here, uh, it's interesting when you get a good storm because unlike in the northeast where I'm from originally where they plow and put salt down, they don't have near enough uh, resources to keep up with snow removal. Uh, so sometimes snow roads just get impassable and they also don't use road salt out here. Um, but the lack of road salt is, is great in terms of making your cars not rot out, but it does mean that roads can get pretty nasty during an active storm and even for some time after the storm so I was glad to make it through out of there just in time um, then I took a different route normally uh, the few the last few times I've done I come across that way I took 80 all the way into Cheyenne then 25 up north and this time I did a cutoff on a state highway from Laramie up to Wheatland and it was really pretty scenery um, nothing I'd seen before so it kind of reminded me of the Medicine Bow National Forest but it was real pretty, so I grabbed some footage as I was driving along through there. Uh, hopefully you'll enjoy watching that here. And I made it up into Wyoming in time to enjoy a nice, uh, I got in a Saturday night, and it, was, it had been 60 degrees that day, and on Sunday then it was like 60 degrees again, it's sunny. Um, pretty windy, but, but it, was, it was warm and sunny, so that was a really nice uh, introduction to being back in Wyoming, uh, particularly considering the storm I had just stayed ahead of. Uh, in southern Wyoming. So I hope you enjoy these clips of the scenery in Wyoming as I was coming up here. Um, I'll be sharing a lot more in the coming weeks and months um, from around the area. Um, this will give you a tease of uh, what at least one part of Wyoming looks like. It's a pretty diverse state in terms of geography so it's there'll, there'll be some different scenery coming for sure. Um, hope you enjoy that and we'll see you in the next video.